the official team of their 2024 nominees have been leaked recently and today in this video i'm going to be making my team of their 2024 so based on the calendar year of 2023 performance i'm going to be making this team and also guys i'll tell you who might probably make the team of the year so yeah let's get started i'm really excited guys so guys here are the nominations for the goalkeeper position it's allison ederson samba kobel chesney maidan and oblak and also mark and sturgeon and i think the goalkeeper position i mean there are lots of wonderful goalkeepers of course but i think ederson deserves it the most the reason why it's simple guys the trophies you can see the trophies which manchester city won so without him probably they might not have won all the trophies his save percentage is in the best but his footwork is amazing guys you know his quick passes and his long balls they're just insane and yeah i think he deserves to be in the goalkeeper position and also another player that might have a chance of getting the team of their probably it might be allison and also mark and turster again uh, i mean because you know guys at the end of the day people are gonna vote for the team of the year so i think even they might have a chance but i in my opinion ederson deserves the most guys so yeah let's go and place ederson in the goalkeeper position so guys i have purchased the 100 rated goalkeeper ederson card so let's go claim him so here we go 445 million coins for this card so yeah quite an expensive card he's the highest rated goalkeeper in the game right now so let's go place him in the team and here we go 100 rated ederson is here so guys as i told earlier he might probably be the goalkeeper for this team of their 2024 and the next position is going to be the left back so coming to the left back position there are actually only two nominees from the left back position guys so one is theo hernandez and the other one is gaia from valencia so i think i'm just going to go with theo hernandez guys too i'm not going to pretend like i watch a lot of italian league matches but yeah whenever i watch ac milan you know what theo hernandez is always consistent not just for ac milan even for france whenever i watch him play he's actually quite good guys so i think i'm just going to go with theo hernandez in the left back and i already have his card so let's go and place theo hernandez we got his 98 rated card so yeah i think he might probably make it guys because even uh, i'm sure most of the fans are going to vote for theo hernandez only uh, and i think he's going to be the left back and the next position is going to be the right back guys and in the right back there is trent alexander arnold from liverpool of course he he's having a great 2023-24 season and also the second half of the 2022-23 season he was decent guys he might not be the best defensively but you know what the number of chances he creates is just insane guys his long balls his crosses everything they're just unstoppable and the next right back we have on the list is giovanni di lorenzo from napoli so yeah to be honest i wanted to put di lorenzo in the right back portion but you know what this is a popularity game so i think trend is gonna win but according to me di lorenzo deserves to be in the right back because he had a crazy good last season with napoli the 2022-23 season and also this season so far he has been decent guys i wouldn't say like he's extraordinary but he's decent so yeah I'm, i think i'm gonna go with di lorenzo in the right back portion that is my team of their right back according to me so yeah guys so here we go di lorenzo purchase has been successful so let's go and place him in the right back portion so he's my team of their guys so yeah to be honest even trent might make it i think trent is going to make it probably because uh, you know i think most of you people are going to vote for trent obviously but according to me i think di lorenzo deserves it the most because he's won a title as well for napoli after so long let's have a look at the center back nominees first there is william saliba from arsenal there is uh, virgil van dyke from liverpool ruben diaz from manchester city and john stones from manchester city as well marquinhos from psg kim and jay ben monik we've got matt samuels from borussia dortmund we've got lucas martinez from fiorentina and we've got bastoni from inter bremer from juventus these are the center back nominations so i think one of my center back is going to be a uh, ruben diaz the logic is pretty simple guys he has won five trophies with manchester city in 2023 i think he definitely deserves to be there john stones also oh, he was a great in the in the 2023 year guys but you know what i think he also played a lot of matches from the midfield so he has a, he had a new role guys actually uh so yeah pep guardiola totally transformed his uh, uh, role uh with man city so yeah and also he he didn't start all the matches uh he had like 32 appearances or something like that if i'm not wrong in the 2023 year so yeah that's the reason i'm not going with him but also he's also a fantastic player in and he had a great 2023 my second center back choice is going to be virgil van dyke guys i think he's finally back to his best in 2023 they were very good i know liverpool didn't finish well in the last season 2022-23 season but this season they are cooking right now and i think virgil van dyke deserves some credit guys because he has been fantastic in 2023 despite not winning any trophies i'm gonna put him and also another shot for the center back position is william saliba uh, he got injured in the second half of the 2022-23 season but even then this season uh in all the matches he played he he, he actually defends very well guys but i i think i'm not i'm i'm gonna put my bias aside and i think i'm gonna say ruben diaz and virgil van dyke in the center back positions all right 
right so both the center backs purchase has been successful so ruben diaz and also van dyke both of them they're fantastic so let's go place them in the team so yep so guys this is my team of the year when it comes to defense so i think these five uh they, they deserve to be in the team of the year now let's move on to the midfield guys and in the midfield guys i have one player i think he's definitely gonna be in the team of the year and he should be there guys and if he doesn't uh, get featured in the team of the year i mean i should just delete this game it's none other than rodri guys what a fantastic season he had guys the 2023 year he was just phenomenal he's just phenomenal whenever i watch him play you know he's perfect his passes his shots his long range goals oh my god he's just fantastic player i think he definitely has to be there or else you know uh, i'm not gonna play fifa anymore so yeah uh, rodri is in the center mid position i mean cdm position and the next position which i want to fill in is going to be jude bellingham so yeah even he's a team of their nominee so let's just go and put in jude bellingham 22 matches played for real madrid so far 17 goals and 5 assists so that's one goal involvement per match guys i know he's not playing in the midfield position but still i think he definitely has to be there he's always consistent for england for also for borussia dortmund whenever he played he was always the best player on the pitch so i think he definitely deserves to be in this team and the third midfielder i, I debated a lot with myself guys so also guys i forgot to read, read out the midfielders nominees so it's martin odegaard De declan rice mitoma bernardo silva kevin de bruyne rodri we've got bruno gumarez we've got jared bowen alexander golovin from as monaco florian words from leverkusen Granit Xhaka, who, who had a fantastic season with both arsenal and also with bayern leverkusen jamal musiala bayern munich another fantastic player leroy sane julian brandt griffo from freiburg and there is parella from inter there is kiesa from juventus rabio from juventus riyad maris al hali and milankovic savage from al hilal pedri from barcelona el kai gundogan from fc barcelona alex garcia girona fc we've got jude billingham tony cruz luca modric chiamani valverde to be honest this list is filled with lots of good midfield players guys but as as we have to pick only three my three choices are going to be rodri jude billingham and kevin de bruyne uh i debated myself between kevin de bruyne el kai gundogan and also bernardo silva because all the three of them they have been brilliant guys but you know what i think uh, kevin de bruyne definitely deserves to be there uh, i know he has been injured for this season 2020-24 season but still one of the main reasons why man city had such a spectacular season the, all the credit belongs to kevin de bruyne and also guys bernardo silva is also close so it might be anyone between kevin de bruyne and bernardo silva but you know guys uh it's based on oaths so i think most of us will obviously vote for kevin de bruyne so yeah that's my next midfielder and here we go the purchase of kevin de bruyne has been successful so let's go put him in the team guys so yeah even the midfield i'm quite happy with my selections guys anyways let's change the formation to 4 3 3 holding i guess so let's go do it now we can accommodate everyone in position guys so kevin de bruyne joins the center mid position and here we go this is our midfield to be honest in real life also this midfield is gonna cook for sure and yep now it's time for the attack guys so first uh let me just read out the attacker nominees real quick so the attackers nominees are buki osaka mohammed salah jack relish erling haaland young min son jonathan klaus usman dembele lee kangin kilian mbappe kolomwani jeremy frimpong grimaldo harry kane luis openda gurasi federico di marco lotero martinez rafael leo quicha quarskelia victor oshman berardi taremi karim benzema cristiano ronaldo anton griezmann morata robert lewandowski winnie jr takifusa kubo gerard morino and lionel messi oh my god that's actually quite a very big list to be honest choosing three attackers it's going to be very hard to be honest but guys this is my opinion i think in the right wing position it's got to be mohammed salah guys but messi is going to win it i'm 100 percent sure because all the messi fans guys by the way don't get me wrong i'm a hardcore messi fan but still i want to be unbiased in this video so i think mohammed salah deserves it because he had 50 goal involvements guys in 2023 alone and right now he's a top scorer goal scorer in the season in premier league as well so i think he definitely got to be there guys you know he has been on very good form and i think he deserves the most when it comes to right wing position but yeah i'm sure messi is going to make into the team of the year but this is my team of the year and i want to be extremely unbiased so yeah mohammed salah goes to the right wing position and coming to the striker i know guys ronaldo ended 2023 with the most amount of goals 54 goals but you know what I, i'm not gonna put anyone outside the top five leagues to be honest i don't want to put them in this uh, team a team of their uh, i think uh, I, I i'm just going to go with erling Haaland, and my second preference is going to be harry kane because even harry kane has been on phenomenal form form and also guys they're in the tougher league so i'm gonna rate uh, play, people playing in the tougher leagues higher than the ones who are playing outside the top five leagues so yeah i think uh, uh yeah i might probably hurt a lot of ronaldo and messi fans 
but you know what i'm just being honest and yep uh any true football fan with will agree with me so yep i'm gonna get erling Haaland in the striker position as simple as that because guys you have seen him he's a goal goal scoring machine i know he hasn't been at the best form uh, this season because he was injured he didn't score uh, he stopped at 14 goals but even in the few games he played he just couldn't stop scoring guys so i'm just gonna go with erling Haaland in the striker position and here we go Haaland purchase has been successful so let's go put him in the starting 11 so that's my striker guys let's go put erling Haaland in the striker position so this is my attack so far and finally we have the left wing so in the left wing my choice was clear it was killian mbappe guys he's just fantastic you know he's just fantastic i don't even have to describe why i'm putting him in the team every time he's on the pitch he's the best player on the field guys that's for sure so i'm just gonna put killian mbappe so yep this is my team of the year guys so i know a few of you might be disappointed with me not including messi and ronaldo but guys let's be honest they are playing outside the top five leagues and if if there was any other player who performed like ronaldo or messi outside the top five league we, we will never consider them putting in the team of the year so yeah this is my unbiased team of the year let me know in the comment section below what do you think which player in this team doesn't deserve to be here let me know i'm i'm all ears guys you know everyone has their own opinion when it comes to football so yeah that's it guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel and help me reach 1 million subscribers guys and also don't forget to go watch this video